I was about 19, I started noticing them. Uh, uh, they were they were not as bad as they they are now. Me and my mom went to the doctor and they put me on some medicine and they diagnosed me as having a, an essential tremor. John's a fantastic person uh, and he's got a great attitude about this. Uh, you know, he's had a central tremor all of his life, uh, you know, starting uh, from around his 20s or so. And, you know, this thing is slowly progressing and, and is going to continue to progress throughout his life. Uh, and to be able to give him an opportunity to have less of a tremor than he'd ever be able to accomplish with, you know, any of the medicines that he takes, is a, it's a great opportunity. Oh, uh, I can't cook. I can't shave. Uh, as far as eating, I guess two or three years. Uh, I've gone from drinking, you know, uh, tea or something out of a regular cup to one with a uh, lid on it and a straw. Now, th this is, that, that, that's, that's okay. And this right here is okay, but if I had to drink it like that, oh yeah, yeah. If I had to drink like that, nah, I'd, I'd be wet all the time and sticky. Uh, the deep brain stimulation really provides an excellent opportunity to increase their activities of daily living and go back to doing the things that they love to do, you know, may, potentially even going back to, uh, to their regular work. It's an option for patients with Parkinson's disease, a central tremor or dystonia uh, that can accomplish things that pills can't. What we'll do is we'll obtain both an MRI scan and uh, then we'll place what are called fiducials or uh, bone markers so that we can line everything up during surgery. After the fiducials, he'll get a CT scan. And then we do some work here while he hopefully can go home at that point in time. And we'll line up both of those studies and we'll plan a trajectory and an operative plan. Exactly how we're gonna approach this as far as uh, our typical entry point. And then we're trying to target uh, what's called the VIM nucleus in the thalamus which is the area that is, has the most neurons that actively fire for those patients that have essential tremor. It takes a team in which um, our hospital is able to offer that because we have the neurophysiologists and the scientists who can do the research on this too, but uh, this is technology where they're under minimal invasion, they're able, uh, minimally invasive surgery, they're able to um, find the exact spot in the brain that's causing either the tremors or uh, where the Parkinson's disease might be uh, emanating from and then interrupt those signals and so um, it makes a huge difference in the patient's quality of life. Uh, because we're doing this with a frameless stereotactic approach we won't have to place pins in the skull uh, but we'll have a frame what's called the next frame that'll basically be screwed into the skull and it'll allow his head to be free uh, he'll be more comfortable rather than being fixated to the table as a result of that. And then using the trajectories and the targeting that we planned for, we'll advance uh, a lead into the VIM nucleus of the thalamus uh, and we'll be able to stimulate that and see its effects immediately. Yeah, let's get another uh, sample of your name right here. Write your name back down there for me, will you? He will be awake and we'll have him perform tasks uh, before we stimulate where we'll see his tremor and then afterwards his tremor should significantly slow down if not stop. Uh, our goal is to have it significantly improved. This procedure has changed my life. I do more. Uh, I can control my hand more, my, hand, my, my face, and my head and my face shook and it caused tension in my shoulders and my neck. That all that's relieved now. Uh, I don't. I don't know. Uh, I don't shake. I, well, I don't have any. It's it, it's like a stress relief. You know, I don't have no headaches. It's exciting for me to see him without a tremor, and him always saying, "Baby, can you do this?" or "Baby, can you do that?" It's gonna be kind of adjustment for me and a change because he's gonna be able to do things without me having to do it. When I had my tremors, I felt like I was just stressed out all the time, you know. I felt like, uh, uh, 
I just feel like I could bite a chunk out of the world. And now it's just, it's, uh, it's easy. You know, it's, it's something that, that I haven't experienced since I was 19. You know, and I'm 47 now, and I'm enjoying it.